Ba-ding! Yeah, it is the Martin Fowler Scrum, and we have uh, Matt and Laura and Sam, and uh, I will go first uh, on this occasion, because great news, the Google AdWords grant thing has been approved, and so we now have a continuing $10,000 a month uh, AdWords budget, which we will need to sort out. Um, so, uh, yeah, Marufa's around. Uh, I guess the plan, we will have um, a marketing meeting immediately after this scrum, if uh, for anybody who's interested in free, uh, myself and Marufa, at a minimum. Um, yeah, I've been filling the uh, lots of thoughts about marketing into the Trello board, uh, so we'll talk, chat about all those different things in that meeting. Uh, other things this morning, yeah, the main thing was that, go, sorting out that Google AdWords thing. Uh, I've also just been you know, go to DevOps website one, little fixes. That's getting there. I saw Matt had a pull request in, but I haven't had a chance to look through it in detail yet. Um, yeah, over the weekend, just linking up different people, bits and pieces. Yeah, good premium session with Michael on Sunday. Reviewing. He's talking about starting a new product. We've got, the, we've got a new data mining channel. Um, he's going like, to get the whole Slack archive and do data mining and analysis on you know, how the people are interacting. In agile ventures, and the big thing I also managed to like uh, find time to book flights for our summer trip to Japan, but also over the weekend that reminds me how little money I have left. So it's kind of it's all yeah, it's all got to be turned into going from the red into the black. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, I've got a meeting with our sponsor later on today. If I'm very lucky, we might get a paid project from them, and immediately afterwards, I've got a meeting with uh, edX and UC Berkeley. Where hopefully we'll get the MOOCs off the ground, and maybe we'll get profit share, and just yeah. Hopefully, these uh, we can convert these Google AdWords into um, you know paying uh, subscribers. Uh, I guess is also the other thing to sort out is maybe we can get this uh, AWS. We just need to get we need to get all the grants in, and we need to work out ways to turn them into paying things. Otherwise, I'll have to go and you know like sell pairing time in the street or something. So poor me. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure who was in first. Let's go to uh, Lara. How how are you doing? Hey, I'm well, thank you. Um... So on, what did I do? I actually took the weekend off and went mountain biking because I Wonderful. decided that 2017 Wonderful. is the year of being fit. Totally. <laughs> Great choice. Great choice. Love it. So um, this this last night, I just uh, checked some uh, work that Raul had been doing on the CA website for South Africa mm -hmm. with some SEO issues. Uh, this morning we approved it uh, um, and then oh yes Friday I did some async voting for mm -hmm. visualizer mm -hmm. so that went quite well which was great because I got responses in quite quickly um, then today I've just been working on client projects but I have assigned myself to doing the home page of met plus and then just to also help set up the all the Travis and um, coveralls for uh, for visualizer just so that they can see their tests passing and mm -hmm. stuff like that um, I have one blocker on the agile ventures website I needed to but I think I've just figured it out or oh, haven't I no I haven't um, I need to add a video from last week's meeting and mm. I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. Yes. So maybe well, sometime may I, after. Yeah, maybe we can, we, there's not some people in the Scrum, we can maybe look at that as soon as uh, we've gone around. Yes, and I had a comment related to the Met Plus pages, which maybe we can also discuss. But uh, okay, so two things there, take on to the edit of the Scrum. Anything, anything else, Laura? That's all. That's all. Great, great report, excellent, thank you. Uh, going on to Matt, how are things with you, Matt? Oh, good. Um, let's see, Friday we had a good uh, planning kind of scrum with the uh, redeem I so um we're doing a lot of refact well mostly what we're doing now is refactoring the provider and vendor upload pages for the code well pages for the codes to manage the codes mm -hmm. um alex seems very excited to he did those nice sketches yeah they look good they look good so um and Armando is back, so I'll try and see if I can't prompt him to have a look at them. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. If he has any questions just uh, or comments. Uh, yeah, usually usually gives comments once in a while. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Um, 
that and then i just had that one small pull request for website one right i, th I think i finally got that stupid sort <laughs> mm -hmm. uh straightened out so mm. yes I, yes I, I said in the other scrum i was kind of lazy about not creating a good test that failed and then right uh, fixing it from there so that's i think that's it okay yes yes is there nothing else blocking you uh no nothing blocking me um i'm wondering what maybe what i should do next but i can figure it out i yeah re review any open tickets uh yeah well and we the, the critical thing was we we we, we addressed there's a couple of bugs, didn't we, with the with the Slack thing? Um, but I yes. think so. Yeah, no, the, the the Slack invite seemed to be working. It seems to be just it was just that setting in the um, had okay, somehow yeah. got yeah. Kind of got lost in the production setting. So it, it's just all working. We're having lots of new folks coming in through the Slack. So right. so that's absolutely great. Um, I guess there we might just take an extremely brief look at the uh, website one waffle board. Uh, I mean, I've got kind of a whole list of bugs and issues and things that came in from Free Ranger, who was reviewing stuff for us. Um, that uh, I, I've started hacking away at. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some other. Yeah, I guess other not so serious bugs. I mean, we could get back to the one that. Um, you, I think, started looking at um, Matt, which was about linking up the projects to their Slack channels. Um, yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, yeah uh, I think you've got that there open and in progress. So, and anyway, that that would that would certainly be a useful a useful thing. I think, like, I mean, it would be it'd be nice if if people could both seamlessly know, you know, when they're in a Slack channel. All oh, right, this is the project place, and and vice versa. Anyway. Um, yeah, and I'll review that pull request from you. I had been thinking um, that maybe we should do a session on that kind of from scratch with a new test. But if you've sounds like you may be bored on, on that, so I'll we'll we'll see. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's uh, me. That's what I. That's oh, what I, you did. Yeah, that's what, if, if, if that's what you did, then then um, yeah, then no no needs. Uh, at the moment, the project page. It's basically I ran that thing manually on Friday, and so it's it's got the. Commit history yeah, based yeah. on Friday and got Wiki Edu at the top, and it, it, it's in a reasonable state now. But yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll look at that in DevOps. Okay, well in 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 that case, um, yeah, uh, that's kind of our Scrum then, because not, nothing else is blocking you then, Matt. No, no. All right, so maybe we should just take a little look at these things. So Lara, you're trying to embed a video just before we get into that, because you've mentioned the Met Plus thing. I just wanted to show you if it's all right. Um, so, uh, I, I mean, I used in my talk on um, last week. I used some of your Met Plus images, uh, or just or just one. Um, what am I looking for now? Uh, I but what that reminded me of is our, you know, how we have these like case studies within here, and I've got kind of an outstanding issue for just like landing on this page. This just sort of looks kind of awful um, and uh, for, for all the uh, and so of like trying to replace that with something that looks better and uh, yeah I, I didn't uh, like your late your I, I don't quite know where to, is it like in, your stuff is in the wiki or go into the wiki yeah go scroll down UX uh, this that, one? Uh, yeah that one okay yes yes and so I guess I, I could take like a whole thing that I, I guess I, I was looking through, you know, oh, which one should I use? They're kind of long. I don't know. Anyway, and then I came down to these ones, and I was just looking at these, and I was thinking, oh, I could, like, I'm kind of conflicted in here about, you know, for these pages, like, you know, these case studies, like, pr probably the best one that we've got. E well, I don't know. You, you, you can tell us. You may think all this looks absolutely awful, but um, with the Harrow Community Network, it's sort of, you know, you've got a map and you've got a list. It's kind of maybe enough by itself. With with this one, this you know the layout is not very good, and it doesn't really tell us anything about the software. Um, mm -hmm. We've got this one, which has got like you know the different mobile screens. Okay, maybe fair enough. And we've got this one here, which is sort of again showing you a bit of something. I mean, they're not really 
I mean, th this whole template that we used for all of this is originally for kind of like showing the UX layout or, or the design of like in the individual pages. Like the case studies are look at this nice homepage. Uh, and maybe the you know in order to show the you know the value of Met Plus like this in one kind of simple screen, um, not you know maybe it needs to be showing a combination of these things. But I was just looking at these and thinking it looks a bit little bit odd with it off to the left rather than it being centered. Is that intentional? Um, I think I might have just made a mistake there. Hmm. I'll just check. I mean, we we haven't. I haven't even uh, written the stories for those pages yet. Oh yeah, but the place just... maybe placeholders. Yeah, no, not to worry. Not to worry. I yeah. just I was. So I was when gonna... I pull it, when I pull the code down, because I'm just busy <coughs> with the 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 kind of main mm. contacts and stuff. So sure, sure. Well, and these 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 are huge improvement. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so once I get to the once we do the admin section, I'll just check. Mm, that mm. might have just been me because I mean it was I was in so much of a hurry that I was oh, well, and, and I think it maybe that's how the system just is by default. I mean, I, th I think the okay. yeah, so the, no, no worries there. I mean, I guess I'm just if I open but this otherwise, one. it's good. I mean, for you to pick that up is great, so I'll definitely check it. Yeah. And if it needs a story, then I'll write it while we're yeah. busy. Yeah, when I mean, I'm, I'm busy doing the admin pages, sure. Yeah, well, and I think what I having talked over, I mean, actually, what I can I can I could do is if I just like this, I think is kind of you know, look is a much nicer design than uh, what we currently have in here, and it tells more of a story about you know at least the two different types of stakeholders in there. And so, uh, yeah, I guess I, I might move towards pulling that in there. I mean, a, a bigger thing that we've got as well is like, like so. This partly because like one of the like this one again off center. It looks. The, I mean, I think we might want to replace Snow Angels with, for example, Visualizer or um, Redeemify or something i mean not that this entire site has necessarily generated anything important for us okay well that's that's enough of that shall i let me see if i can help you with you, you want to embed a video in um so the, visual in the visualizer yeah um uh, do you want me to share my screen you you could do i i could also just go there my okay. yeah please, please do please do do share your screen uh and i'll just also navigate to the place uh as well. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so visualizer there. So you, you're trying to add a video into the... Um, the video right. section. In the videos sec... Right. So, so the video section is not a place... We've had this problem before. It's not a place to add videos, per mm -hmm. se. The video section automatically will pull any video in that's being created in association with the project. Do you know okay. what I mean? Okay. So, so you've got a video that you recorded in what context? What was the, what's the video that you have? Uh, we did the. We, oh, let me just get to yeah, it's my channel. We, we had this meeting here. We went through the system. Um, we went through all the code that Thomas had done. Okay. Well, so I need to pull this. I need to pull this into into. Yeah, understood. Can you paste the link to that video into the group chat for me? Okay, sure. Um, and this, how how was this meeting started? What what did you use like the YouTube live thing or? I did the YouTube live, and uh, well, I created it with. Through through the visualize, I mean through the Agile Ventures website. Okay. That's how I um, created it. It was just to go through the code base um, and pivotal tracker. Yeah, no, no, sure. So, so yeah. what I'm what I'm looking at then from from here. So, like, if we look at these, like, so the reason, like, the reason that, well, um, the reason that any video will appear. appear here here is because somebody has um started it through the visual so you're saying you you clicked this start a hangout yeah. on air button yes and that's well, how that I video did oh. i did it through events oh you did it through events yes so you've got there's a bit was it a repeating event or a one-off event no just a one-off ah, okay so in that case there will be an event um, for that, which we need to find, and we need to associate that event 
with the visualizer project. So when you okay. create an event, and um, it's now just taking a very long time to go to events. Um, it's, if it's not a repeating event, I guess, can I find it in probably in past events? Past events. Last week, Monday. Uh, here. So, uh, it was last week, Monday. this one here. So, if we look here, yeah, so this visualizer meeting, if we edit the event details, we see that it's currently associated with the CS169 project. Yeah. So, if we go in here and associate it with the visualizer meeting, with the visualizer yeah. project, and we save yeah. it, then if we now, I mean, unfortunately, it says it's created by me, we need to adjust that so it says edited by rather than created by. But um, so now, if we go back to the projects uh, visualizer here, uh, in principle, uh, it will, I mean, the, I guess the, whatever, okay, no, right, so the event is associated. But so what happens is when we start the Hangout Now, we get a separate event instance. And so what I probably have to do is go in and tell the event instance to be, asso to be associated. Yeah, I mean, I guess, if you leave that with me, I can maybe try and force the thing to um, to appear here. Okay. But uh, yeah. So is it better for me to start the hangout within the project? Uh, well, yes. The 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 it's it 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 doesn't actually matter as long as if you're creating an event for a project, yeah. then. So if we were to go and create an event, I'm going to go to this page. When you create the event, if you select the project it's associated with, then what should happen is that the, any video recorded of that event will then be associated with the project page. Okay. All right. Um, Sorry. I mean, I guess what we what that suggests maybe is that for the individual project page, if we had here, like one of the actions was, you know, arrange an event, and then you clicked on it from here, and mm -hmm. perhaps it would all, you know, the 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 you wouldn't have to select which project it would be automatically selected for you um or even just like a system for being able to pull in um you know existing videos you know rather than this 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 issue that we're having now mm. yeah mm. interesting okay um and i guess the thing i was potentially going to do here was go um into the production server and look for whether we had an event, in, so this is why I wanted to get the video link from you, which you gave me here. And if I get the ID, then in principle, from so the individual event instance, um, I'll pull that in. Anyway, I think Mar Marufa is probably wanting to join us, and she may not join us until uh, we go live. Will this come in? It always takes a little bit longer. So if I do here, event instance, let me just, what is it? Now that we have a, YouTube, oh, it's YT underscore video ID. So if I now do E equals event instance uh, find by uh, YT video ID and then stick in that. Yeah, okay. So I've now found uh, this one. Well, then it's, so that event instance ID, ah, it's here, it says it's associated with product ID 64. And it's probably the case there that 64 is a CS169. So you might find that video if you navigated the CS169 project. So probably what we want to do, if I if I just look up, so project find by uh, slug, and we get it, visualizer. The name of the project is 130. So if I now set project ID equal to 130 and save that, um, it may or may not work. We will see. You know, that one, yeah. Yeah, but I, mean, I guess we might have to look more in more detail into how that link up happens. I, don't, I haven't looked at that page before. So what I'm going to do, I guess I'm going to create a um, website one bug sort of issue there and say uh, we've got, like, um, how to move a video recorded the one it's over to another uh, trying to move over uh, Lara's visualizer 
a meeting video. Um, tried this update in uh, console, but no joy. But that, I mean, that's that's something actually. Uh, if you wanted to have a look at uh, Matt, would be an interesting, you know, just just. Uh, but anyway, that's. Uh, yeah. Oh, I so, what I. Well, what the, I, the, the, the thing here would be. So say again. How would I um do it? Would I just write the code in there to do it? Well, I think the, the, I the, the, the thing that I would be doing, in this instance, is it the next step. I'm mean, going to do it now because we need to. I'm keeping room for waiting, but um, what I would be doing is I'd be going into the code base and looking at the yeah. like how how is the set of videos associated with this project being found, and what's like I was sort of assuming here that it was going to get all the event instances and then pull the video links out of them, but the fact that that hasn't worked, or maybe I've just done something wrong. But in the first instance, I wouldn't be trying to fix it. I would be trying to investigate and understand. Oh, okay. Like I, I didn't work, I you know, on the, the this. Give you a hint on how to do it. Yeah, I mean, this is for me that m most of this site is all legacy code of like, so somebody else implemented this at some point, and I, I, you know, but so if we look at the view page for this thing, we would find out and then get to the bottom of uh, this, and and then there's a kind of the follow-on thing from this is is what would be you know, uh, uh, once we know um, what might be UX uh, fixes to avoid this issue occurring, uh, or allow. It's to be fixed more easily in future. Okay. What you, yeah, like what you did earlier should have fixed it, right? Or yeah, and I mean, you know, one could have an admin interface to move them around, oh, yeah. uh, and or one could have things so that, you know, uh, like I suggested, having, you know, it, it create an event for this project from the project page or what have you. Anyway, uh, we spent certainly a good amount of time on that. Uh, yeah, so that's our Scrum. Uh, I will stop the broadcast.